Hi. For those people who've been on my channel before, I'm Mr. Whirly Geek, and I make Whirly Geeks as a hobby. A lot of people saw the uh, way I make my propellers for the Whirly Geeks, and they showed some interest on how I actually carry on with the process and how I finished up with with my well I powertrain the bed that I put all my whirly gigs on. I decided because I make about a dozen different designs of whirly gigs I should really standardize the bed. So what I actually in fact do is, is, is make these like this already and then I can put on whatever you know whatever model I want to you know I can put on uh, you know yeah, yeah, you know, I, I can put on the, the chap who's throwing the ball for the dog, or I can put on wood, you know, the wood chopper. Obviously, hasn't got his bottom on at the moment. Uh, I did some bottoms out there. There's them. There's the bottom, and that just fits on. And they all sort of just fit on the same, the same bed. And this way, uh, I can sort of standardise things, which is easier because I can get beds made and propellers made, and then as the orders come in for the whirly gigs it's quite quick to actually assemble one. So the interest people wanted to know is how I finished up with this idea. You know, as people have seen it before you know the propeller chest screws on there with a uh, with a wing nut. I had numerous ideas and if you go on YouTube you see different people have different ideas some people have do this with gears and wood and some put it underneath and have holes coming up underneath so the drives come up to that and yeah all very good but when you're you've got to do these yeah, not in bulk but you know two or three a week you've got to just standardize things so eventually I, I finished up with this and this size we did do originally I'm sure people saw on the original one this is one of my first design ones this is all done with you know 10 mil rod and everything but it was just a little bit over yeah belts and braces too strong too strong really so i went down in size and finished up with what i got here so what so what do we do well we start we obviously started with with a block uh why that length that length really because it sort of it it, it, it gives the a little bit so it doesn't work. I think if it was any smaller you would possibly get some movement that way so I, I, I decided with that that length uh, which is 50 50 look at that 50 there we go he can cut that quick can't he 50 so we did that and they came out of this wood here that I got from the timber merchants this is the same wood that I use for doing the stands and all I do is, is just cut them off and off, off we go. Right, so what what did we decide next? Well, how to get the power from this rod to uh, on the end there. I, I made metal brackets, square brackets. Oh, I, I tried so many different ways of how to change that to an up and down movement. So I finished up with what I think I always think the easiest is the best sometimes. So what we did, we, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get this in shot for you. I, I, I just put a flat, a flat bit on the end of the, the threaded bit there. Just, just enough so that I could put a uh, punch, yeah, a little mark there, so I could drill a hole through. And then I've just drilled a hole through through the end, I, you know, I, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, there we go. Look, there's a hole there. Yeah, I've just drilled a hole through there. And then what we then got is some, some galvanised wire, which is this stuff here, which is the same stuff that I use to move the things up. And that, that's 1.9, so I presume they call that 2. two. And then we just drilled a hole through, as, as I said, we, we, we place... Uh, place that through the hole and we just do it up very tight uh, you know, just make a bracket up that's that's the bracket bracket goes in there like that quite simple do that up 
it's got a shake proof washer on it, nut, shake proof nut, so that goes up very tight. Right. So, with our pieces of wood, we just flattened one surface down, drilled a hole through the top, to more towards the top, like that. Uh, I managed to get hold of. I, 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 I tried this all different ways. Uh, you know, I did try drilling, drilling bigger holes and putting and putting bearings in. Uh, all different ways. I thought bearings was a bit overkill because the propeller is so light, and you know the whirly gig isn't uh, doesn't weigh a lot. I don't think there's going to be a lot of pressure on on the. Uh, on the bearings. So in the end I went with these these nylon liners. They're, 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 I don't think they're designed for this, they're not designed for something totally different. But, uh, and then as you can see they're just a, a plastic liner with, uh, with a nice collar on. And we they just slide in there and slide in there like that. Eventually. Never give up the first time. I'm going to get this in here. Just put the pause going, oh, you make, make yourself all a cup of tea or a coffee. There we go, it's in there. And that fits in there like that. Uh, and that is it. Then we take our, uh, our rod, which will have, which will have the, uh, on the end of it, screwed up tight. That slides through there, quite simple. You can believe how that hassle to get that in, and then it comes out straight away. Oh, that's the other end, isn't it? That just fits on there like that. Then we obviously uh, get the propeller, put the propeller on the end, put a wing nut on it. Then this screws onto the base. Yeah, again, these, all these bases that all come off off cuts. This was this come out of a bit of six x six timber that I I. Uh, Slice down on it, a really lovely piece of wood. When I cut it, it smelt, it smelt wonderful. Uh, and as you can see, you know, I just do them in bulk, just cut loads of them and just make them up for when I want them. Obviously, just uh, fix the bit on, put the propeller on, and there you go, that, that's the standard base. Uh, while I'm here, I'll, I'll show you what we do to actually support it on, on, on the uh, rod. We, uh, blah, 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 da, 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 let's see if I can find some. Uh, the, oh, look at that, we've got some already made up. Here we go, look, here we go. They're all painted ready to go. So we, uh, to actually, uh, to, to fix the, uh, so that it supports. Again, originally I just screwed it into one place and I drilled a hole through here, bolted it on, wonderful. But as I made different whirly gigs and, and the centre of balance was slightly off, I decided it had to be movable. So what we did then was we, we made up a uh, screwdriver. These are these are just been hanging up to be painted, hence the, the screws are in there. And I've just tried this 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 way differently. Originally, what I did is similar to this. I I, I put the uh, the bolt through, countersunk, and put a nut in, and and fitted it in. Now this one, what I've done is a, is, is a sort of a tight, a smaller hole, threaded the thread in, and put some araldite in to try and fix it in there. And let me just see. I, I did this the other week, so I was wondering. Now see that that is in. Yeah, that's in quite tight. Uh, so I think we might carry on with that. And then, of course, the beauty of this way is that you can find your centre of balance depending on what propeller you've put on and what whirly gigs, because some whirly gigs are big and, and, and you know, and, and some are small. And you can just move this up and down, which, to me, sounds sounds logical. 
and, and then obviously they, they just go on the stand. So, so that's what we finished up with. Now, if you think it's a good idea, great. I, I, it works well for me. Just because it works well for me doesn't mean it's so worth for any, anybody else. But as uh, I, I, I do these to, to sell on eBay, or wherever, uh, we seem to be selling a lot to America at the moment for the moment, and they're quite happy to pay the postage, which to me sometimes the postage is more than what I charge for the Whirly Gig. So somebody's making lots of money, not me of course, but I enjoy making them. And, th and that, is, that is it really. We're just going out now, I've just gone away from using the upright as a, as a 10 mil thread, I'm going down to 8 mil. There, there's, there's a reason, reason for that, is because I'm thinking, though I'm quite happy in the way that the uprights go is that uh, you do sometimes get a, 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 a slight bit of movement there because the bearings only go in a, a little bit and I need to put something down so at the moment what I'm trying to source is is a plastic lining so I can drill the hole put a plastic lining in and then put that in which obviously make it last longer and, and, and spin better which is what what, what we're after uh, but at the moment I'm, I'm unable the only bit of plastic I found that I might be able to do it with believe it or not hang on, I've got some here I managed to locate this this and as you can see it's got a lovely hole in it on what I'm thinking of doing and I haven't done it yet so you have to come back to see if I've decided it, 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 it's, it's the best way to do it so, 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 so what I'm thinking of doing is actually putting that in, in so it goes in a, a lot further and then cut it off and then with a smaller one is putting that on there and then that will hopefully give me a, will spin a lot better. Uh, I can get this in aluminium but I, I don't want, I, I, I like it in plastic. These, believe it or not, these rods, if anybody knows where I can get hold of these rods, please tell me. Because at the moment, I, and I may, but the only way I can find them is on, it sounds silly, on a coat hanger. Uh, one of these trousers coat hangers has some of these on. And I'm, and, and I'm buying those up just to, uh, just to see. But, you know, this is very much in, people who've watched my videos know that it's very much in the experimental stage at the moment on whether this is going to work. And I will keep you informed. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to like this, this way of doing it because I think... It's quite possible that over a, sense, uh, a length of time is that uh, a you're going to get a bit of movement there, which 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 we don't want. Obviously, I haven't got the I haven't got the uh, the uh, the uh, the washer in there at the moment to show you. Uh, if anybody wants to know where they get these washers, if you just email me and I'll see if I can source, source the supplier for you. Uh, but they're not used. See, that goes in there and, and then I'll, you do tend to get that, you know, a little bit of wobble. Uh, so, I, 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 what do you think? Do you think I should go with a liner or should I? I'm going to go with the liner. Well, that's that's okay. That goes in there, right? Anyway, that's how we do it. As you can see, all my whirly gigs are uh, a work in progress. Uh, trying to always develop and fine tune them to make them better, so they work, work, last longer, and give you, my customers and my friends, hours of fun. Hope the video didn't go to, go on too long. Uh, I'm known for long videos and chatting. But that's life, isn't it? When you're retired. If you do want any of my whirly gigs, obviously go onto YouTube, have a look at which ones you like, and then you can go onto eBay. They are up for sale. Uh, they're over thirty pounds plus postage and packing. America, unfortunately, uh, postage and packing is just—it's silly. It's, it's more money than what the whirly gig's worth. But if you're prepared to pay for it, I'm prepared to post it to you. We've already done, I think, three or four to America, and they've all loved them, and so there you go. If the Americans want it, I'm prepared to make them. Send them over to you, care of the Royal Mail. Unfortunately, they do take, if, I forget, I, I will get back to you on the price, but I think it's about £35 you know, on tracked and everything. But if you go on what we call uh, the snail mail, very, very slow, it, it, it's a lot cheaper, but I think the time taken to get to America is about eight weeks, which, if you're prepared to wait, 
you know, all well and good, just get in contact with me. Let me know what you want, what to do. Hopefully I'm going to do a video next week on how to make the actual thing, the whirly gig. So I'm, I'm thinking of doing a uh, Bertie the Bear, the fishing bear. We've done quite a few of him. He, he was, as you know, if you've watched my original one, he was the first one I did. So I've got, uh, yeah, here he is. Uh, he's lovely, isn't he? Uh, the fishing bear and there's there's, there's the fish uh, I will explain to you I don't quite do him like this no more but you can see you can see the difference there on how we fitted them and we still have this idea this get out I'd come and we've changed this bit uh, but there, there you go so he's I'm gonna build him next so there will be a video coming out next week on how to build a Bertie the bear the fishing bear hope to see you all soon sorry about uh, spoiling your wonderful day by making a boring video but uh, some people seem to like them. Thank you very much. Mr. Whirly Greek signing off here from Spalding in Lincolnshire in the UK. Bye.